seven pieces ray how's it going hope all is well so today i want to talk about what is awakening you keep hearing this uh, terminology about awakening and um you know and some of us <laughs> some of us believe that when you awaken you're like you know that um it's it leads to like some some super amazing superman powers um or you know to the truth of who and what we are when we, well that's what we're going to discuss in this in this video so awakening are there you know when you're awakening awakening full awakening or what is really awakening is absolute clarity clarity of who and what you are why you came here what is your purpose you know um all the things about creation and life and so on that is absolute clarity where you just you receive clear when you have absolute clarity you have the knowing because when you have absolute clarity you remember who and what you truly are who you connected to and that you are source and when there when you're on the path of awakening there are different levels of awakening some people say oh i'm awakened yeah you may be awakened to one level of clarity or the stages of awakening there are different levels of awakening Full awakening is similar to uh, what Jesus and Buddha did. Okay, they knew and remembered who and what they are. But those are rare events as well, with with, with uh, certain those certain individuals. I'm not going to even tap into. But full way, let's just use Buddha for example. Buddha went into meditation, reach uh, clarity, and he kept questioning, he kept wondering, kept learning throughout his entire life because he kept reaching different levels of clarity. Every time he had an opportunity to meet and speak with different people, he was able to learn from their experiences and to teach what he knew. He didn't know all things because he didn't have full ascension, full enlightenment at that time. It was when you, he received full clarity or full awakening that he had um, enlightenment. And then from there we have, from enlightenment, usually they, you go into ascension. Because once you realize who and what you are, you're basically, you're kind of, your job is kind of, you know, you're, you're done. What you Because you that's what it's all about, awakening to your higher self, to what you are meant to do here. And he was meant to be a representation of how to become enlightenment, how to reach enlightenment or full clarity. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do. When you hear the terminology awakening, you're just going, you're, it's just basically becoming clear of your path, clear of who and what you are, and what you, and, and that you're not separate from universe, God, source. Okay, so awakening is, uh, like I stated uh, earlier, there are different stages of it. How do you know when you're not awakened? When you're not awakened, you easily att you're attached more to the physical world. The physical aspect of this world, the tangible, is more important to you. You give more energy to the tangible or the physical world than you do to the non-physical, the spiritual. Um, you uh, things affect you easily. You get emotional easily. You're led more by the emotion. Um, uh, you you worry, you stress, you fear, um, you fear death. So those are the, so just some of the basic signs when you haven't reached full uh, or you're not awakened. When you're awakened or, or going through the stages of awakening or clarity of who and what you are, then a lot of it you start to bits and pieces start to happen. Different, just, just, like I said, there's different levels. What starts to happen is the fear starts to go away. You start dealing with different aspects of this reality, of the illusion of this reality. You start to break when, as you become clear, as you come, you go to the different levels. There are different illusions that fall away. There are certain. St there's a stage where you get to the point where fear just falls away. Um, uh, doubt falls away. Uh, the idea of separation from you, God, and from your desires and wants falls away. The, uh, you know, so these are, these are different levels. Um, 
being being you know being lost and not knowing what you want out of life is not being is not that's another sign that you're not awakening yet. When you're when you're awakened, one of the levels of waking is that it's actually usually the the a little bit more of the not like early slash mid early stages of your awakening is when you find because you awaken, but then you're like, okay, I'm awakened, but what am I supposed to do with it? And then when you get to that mid early stages, then you eventually figure it out it comes to you you don't even have to figure it out it just it be receipt you reach that clarity because that's what awakening is reach that clarity you're like oh that's right this is what i'm supposed to do this is my my path and then once you know your path that's then you start walking that path and each time as, as you walk that path you receive different levels and different layers of clarity or awakening that you uh must go through um when you finally reach a high level of awakening, you would, uh, you know, not everybody gets to experience this sometimes because of death or sometimes people just quit in the pursuit or the world, the illusion, they get sucked back into the illusion, they get pulled back because that's a, that's a, you know, that's, that's something you got to look out for is that the illusion which through temptations, through, through the, uh, distractions, you know, these things can distract you and pull you back into the illusion. You can go, actually go back to sleep um, while you're in this illusion. So you got to be cautious when you're going through this, the, uh, you, when you're, as you're on your path. You got to be aware of the fact that you can easily get tricked and, and end up going back into uh, the illusion of this reality. Um, so as you, your job and as your awakening is to remove the obstacles, to remove the different layers of, of the illusion of this world, okay? And as you do that, you start to separate yourself from this limiting belief system or reality, and you start living more in the, in the reality that all things are possible. You go beyond the human and you go into the spiritual. You go beyond the mortal and you become immortal. And your mind starts to understand and starts to work at that higher level. Instead of using the, the human mind, you start using the spiritual mind more. Okay? So, you, But you also got to remember that you're still in the physical. Many people that awaken, they have a few, there's a couple of dangers. When you awaken, you got to make sure, this is usually in the beginning stages, not everybody experiences the majority of us do um, is when you awaken you get so caught up in the spiritual that you neglect the physical okay and that's wrong because what you do in the spirit you got to maintain in the physical as well it's a it's a perfect vibrational har harmonic connection that you have mind body and spirit the physical, you must take care of the physical. You must make sure you exercise. You must make sure you eat. You must make sure you maintain yourself and maintain what you have in this physical plane. Just because you become spirit, uh, uh, awakened doesn't mean you go away from family and friends and, and just whatever. No. They're thi they're, those are the things that help align you. Because what those things that are outside of you, that life, those representations, are just representations of the internal aspect of who and what you are. So that's why if you are confused and distracted and you, you're lost, you know, you, you have no direction in life, that's internally and your life will reflect that externally. You'll be running around doing some crazy stuff. Um, but if you are, have, you, if you ever met those people that they just seem to have it together, that's because within their minds, they, they the structure, they there's there's uh, there's a path. They know what they want. They're gonna go get it, and there is no question about that. It's just a matter of time in their minds, uh, in their human minds. Um, and in the outside world, it reflects that. Every uh, it seems like everything they do just seems to fall into place. Just seems like it's part of the plan of what they they talk about. Because that's in perfect alignment. So, oh, you got to be careful when you're awakening. You can easily get caught up in the too much on the spiritual. Now, a lot of people say, "Well, isn't that the whole idea?" No, you have to you have to have balance of it all. If you're one of those 
uh, if, if you're awakened, you have to understand that you're going to be here. You're still going to be here doing work. You're just awakening to what work you're going to be doing. Okay. And what path you're going to be on. So now you have to maintain that balance of mind, body, and spirit, conscious, subconscious. Okay. You got to be able to work together in perfect, perfect vibration to accomplish your, your goals. All right. If you was trying to go to the gym and your mind and your mind is like saying, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. But your body is like, say, OK, let's go, let's go, let's go, which will never really happen because wherever the mind leads, the body will follow, you know. So you can't have that separation. You can't have that separation. It just won't work. So in order to be super successful, you have to desire to work out. You have to desire to do the, what, what you want, what you want to accomplish. And then you go to the gym, you do the physical action, and then you get the results over time. So it's the same thing. Mind, body, and spirit must be in perfect harmony. I call it having finesse. You got to be like that tightrope guy who's walking and he's, he's, you know, he's controlling his breathing, he's watching his body, he's watching his balance, the air. He's watching so many, th so many factors that go into, that go in, that, that come into play. And he's a master of it all through finesse. It's a subtle finesse. It's just like, wow. People look at me like, oh, he does it so easy. That's the finesse. That's the balance of it all. That's true mastery of self. Okay. And um, usually when you can develop that true mastery of self, that usually comes first and then all those other things come afterwards because everything that you're going to attract or have in your life is just a byproduct of who and what you become. So as you awaken, you're going to be able to, to, to remember how to do things, how to attract things, how to bring things to you, how to, how to, how to shape and form the, the energy or the vibrational frequencies to, to uh, work for you. And to bring the things that you so desire and want into your life. Um, the trick is when you are going through the awakening is to, through meditation, feed the spirit, you know, and then take care of yourself in the physical so that you have that continuous balance. Okay? And that's something you want to do. You want to be able to have that continuous balance and um, to make sure that you're, you know, that you're good in what you're doing. And, and that's such a key factor to be able to have. Um, when you have awakening, uh, just another couple of things I want to throw at you. As you get through different la layers of awakening, you're going to be able to remember more and you're going to be able to help people more. You're going to be able to live more of your true self, your authentic self, the spiritual self, the soul, whatever you want to call it, different names. It doesn't matter. Okay. We always argue. So many people argue about the words words are limiting do not limit what the vibration what the feeling of it is as long as you're doing it you don't have to know what it is if you're doing it and you know you're doing it and you feel it and it's working and you're getting results then you know you're doing it because you know you're doing it and you know you're successful when you're taking what you know because as you, you awaken and you get that knowledge and that wisdom and you get that and you apply it and then so you're taking from what's in the mind you're bringing it in the outside world and it works that's your proof proof is in, is, is in the pudding right so that's how you build your faith that's how you build that you know your power of of belief because it's the, the being able to see the results is going to build your faith, it's going to build that muscle, and that's how you're going to be able to attract and accomplish more. Because you, when you know something works and you have no doubt, you're going to have that confidence, and, and, and that leads to just a whole bunch of other things that are, is, are needed in order for you to be able to make your manifestations come to fruition. Um, so when you awaken, you're going to be able to. You got. You're going to be able to do. To remember more. You're going to be able to uh, to look at uh, the trials and tribulations and be able to to uh, to you know get around them easier. Um, you're going to be able to uh, you know deal with situations that you had difficulties in the past. You're going to be able to deal with them and and get something out of it. You're going to be able to get something positive out of it compared to the past where you just felt like a victim. Um, uh, one huge thing when you awaken, you're going to realize that you have a duty to serve humanity is for the greater good of, of all humanity. Um, you're going to start to develop the unconditional love. As you reach the higher levels, you develop unconditional love. 
And that's huge because most of us don't know what real unconditional love is. Some of us who are parents, we know what unconditional love when we have our children, we love them unconditionally. A lot of times when we try to apply that to somebody else, we seem to get hurt. But you'll reach a level of understanding and non-judgmental, unconditional love and non-judgmental. Those things will usually they usually they usually uh, follow suit because you can you can learn unconditional love, but you also have to be non-judgmental of the individual that you're loving unconditionally. When you have those two, then you will have the full-blown understanding of what it means to really love without judging, without pointing fingers. You're like, look, I love this person no matter what. And then you can detach and let them be, let them go because they're experiencing their experiences that they need to learn to awaken. That's what our experiences are all, all about. The ups and downs, the trials and tribulations are there to help us awaken. Okay, the universe is speaking through us through these trials and tribulations so that we can awaken or receive absolute clarity to who and what we are within. Now, without you're not going to find the answers of 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 the how to awaken all that stuff outside you're not that's that's an internal uh journey you will see the mirror reflection of this of the knowledge and the wisdom that you gain subconsciously you will see that come out in the physical so subconsciously you will you will you will have a a, a level of wisdom and knowledge and if you even ask let me put it to you this way subconsciously or consciously you say okay i want to learn about detachment i want to understand i want to be able to master it because i have difficulties in this area and i know if i can master this area it's going to help me awaken to a higher level of understanding to to that higher vibration of who and what I am. So and then you ask that question, how I do that to your universe through meditation and to your higher self or, or, or source or God. And then all of a sudden, the, it, everything starts to align outside. You come across a person, you get a book, you watch a TV channel or something, and it's all going to start to uh, align or through synchronous, it'll sync up with your, your intent, your question. It'll sync up and then through re repetitive or repetition of the same lesson over and over and over again, the universe will hit you with it from different directions until you get what you were asking for. That's why I said the universal law, the universal language is repetition synchronicity. So those that's that's basically what awakening is. You're awakening to who and what you are. There are different levels of awakening. Um, when you there when you do reach absolute clarity. Uh, aka awakening clarity of who and what you are what your job is then you start to do the job and eventually uh, over time once you're on that path if it's your time to have full uh, awakening if it's time for you to have full awakening in this lifetime that's why when you be when you do that then you become an ascendant master when you have full awakening then you have what they call uh, um, um, you know what uh, you um, Oh gosh, give me, forgive me a sec, give me a second. When you have full awakening, you have uh, enlightenment. Enlightenment, they, you know, it's basically you awaken to who and what you are in its fullest form, and then from that point on, you can decide: Do I want to continue to help others, or do I, or am I done? Uh, did I represent what I, the the, the uh, you know the, the 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 light? Did I represent the love? Did I represent the meaning, the teachings that needed to be represented? Did I do the job? In other words, did I do the job that I'm supposed to do? If the answer is yes, then you can ascend and then go up and and do what you want to do and just have, enjoy the rest of what you know your 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 life. But being light workers, the majority of the time we just like to do work and just you know either up there or down here. We come back and forth and whatnot. Um, so that's basically awakening. I can go more into uh, details based on your questions. If you have any, don't f forget to subscribe to my channel, Universal Interpretation. This is Ray. As always, love and peace. Take care.